So in this fight, man, um, very easy to fight to score. Um, clearly, 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 Marina Rodriguez won this fight. Um, the first round, what happened was. Rodriguez was just controlling distance, timing, everything. She was doing everything very well and just dominating in the stand-up. In the second round, Mackenzie Dern gets a takedown. And then when you look at the, the ground game of Marina Rodriguez, I mean, she doesn't have a bad ground game. You know, her darts from the bottom was something that she was really looking to trying to get in this fight. And she tried to do a Doris from the bottom. I guess that was a way of trying to stall out the position until the round ends so that they can stand up again. And then the third round and the fourth round and the fifth round, it was all Marina Rodriguez. Mackenzie Dern, she only throws one bomb. She throws one big shot and then she misses and then she gets counted. And then she gets counted with kicks. She doesn't throw any kicks. She, her stand up is very poor. Dern's stand up is terrible. Compared to Marina Rodriguez, her stand-up is terrible. Her ground game is beautiful, top-notch, but you still have to get the takedown. So, you know, it's not that simple, and I know it's not that simple, and that's why I'm talking about it. But classic grappler versus striker, and I told you guys, I knew that Rodriguez wasn't going to lose this fight. You know, I thought that she was going to win this fight. I picked... Marina Rodriguez for this fucking fight. I fucking knew it, man. Jiu-Jitsu is a very, very valuable tool in MMA. However, if you do not have the rec wrestling prerequisites to take it to the ground, then you have Jiu-Jitsu that all of those years of Jiu-Jitsu, it's useless because you don't have those prerequisites to be able to get the fight to the mat. And if you can't do that, then what's the point? Like you're not, you're not winning the fight. And every time it's standing, you can see. I mean, Marina Rodriguez really looked like she could have got the finish in this fight. There were times when it looked like that Mackenzie Dern was going to get finished. But the thing about that is, if you go in for the kill against Mackenzie Dern, she may go for a level t change and take you down off those punches that you're throwing and being very aggressive. So that's why you can't really put the foot on the pedal too much. Because you might get taken down and finished on the ground. Uh, yeah, um, the thing of and and she was throwing a lot of kicks. And in my pre-fight pre-fight breakdown, um, I told her not to throw a lot of kicks. But you know, Mackenzie wasn't able to catch any of those kicks, so I guess uh, it worked well for her. Very good game plan. Um, her coach is actually excellent coach. She has an excellent coach and an excellent team behind her. And I told you guys, I fucking knew that the takedown would come from a judo throw. I told Marina Rodriguez in my, in my fucking breakdown that she should avoid the clinch with Mackenzie Dern at all cost. Because if you're in the clinch with a judo expert, if you're in the fucking clinch with a judo expert, she can go for that high judo throw off the neck. And that's exactly what Mackenzie did. And she got the takedown. I knew it. And then I was looking at the fight. And I'm looking at that round. And I'm like, I fucking knew it. I knew the takedown would come from a judo throw. I knew it. Because Mackenzie, because Marina Rodriguez, she is a Muay Thai expert. And in the Muay Thai clinch, the plum, they like to throw a lot of knees to the body, stuff like that. And then if you try to go in for the kill with that, then the judo expert will, will will reverse the position and get a takedown on you from that from that judo throw, the classic judo throw. But Mackenzie, I feel like uh, during this fight, her coaches kept telling her, come forward, put pressure, get to the clinch, take her down from that position, and obviously set up the takedown with your punches. Throw twice and then throw again, and then throw again when you're about to throw. Throw twice, not just one time. To So basically, you throw once to get inside and to close that distance. And then you throw punches again to disguise the takedown. That's to disguise the takedown. It's called maskirovka in Russian. Uh, deception. 
You supposedly try to deceive her by trying to disguise the takedown with punches. And then you take her down off those punches. And that's what she should have done. But I feel like but she was getting discouraged because Marina Rodriguez was throwing a lot of heat at her. She was getting counted every time she came in. She was getting hit with a lot of leg kicks. So she was like, okay. Uh, am I sure if I want to come on the inside and bang with this girl and get try to get a takedown at all cost and get clipped on the way in and get knocked out? So that's another thing. She was scared of getting hit on the inside. And that's, uh, you know, and her coach told her in the corner, we're getting hit going backwards anyway. Why don't we just come forward? Because we're getting hit going backwards anyways. But I feel like her coaches were not enough we're not they don't they didn't look at it from her perspective enough you know it doesn't matter what you tell your what you tell your fighter if your fighter is not being receptive to that information you need to try and tell them what they want to hear but also you need to tell them a mixture of what you with what they need to hear not just what they want to hear and what they need to hear but also this ties into that particular fighter's personality and how they are in training like i mean i know her training's probably her coaches know her a lot better than I do so I don't know if but but at the same time I'm looking at the fight and I'm looking at the fact that she's tired she's extremely not extremely tired but she's tired so I don't know if they should be telling her to come forward like that maybe they should give her advice that is more helpful telling her stuff like that you know sometimes the coaches are like you know they give the fighter like information that's kind of idealistic in nature and they just want to look good in front of the camera but that's really not the way to coach a fighter man i feel like her coaches let her down in this fight and her coaches were the reason why she lost this fight because after the second round i should not have been seeing mckenzie there fucking sitting back at range and then throwing one bomb and trying to get a takedown. And then she didn't even go for the takedown. She throws one bomb and then she circles and then she keeps moving and circling. Like, what the fuck are you circling and moving and doing all these things for? You need to be grappling with this girl. Don't let her just keep you at range and pepper you with kicks. Those low kicks were chewing up her thighs. She was getting hit with everything tonight. She was getting hit with knees, knees to the head, elbows, Punches from range, one twos, left hook. She even got hit with that check left hook that I talked about in my pre fight breakdown. If you guys want to see that video, I talked about the fact that with an aggressive fighter coming in a straight line, you need to angle out and throw a check left hook and knock their ass out. Or that will make them think twice about just rushing in with the reckless abandonment. They're going to be thinking, okay, I got that, I got that heat right there. That's waiting for me. So I don't know if I want to rush in like that. And. And that's just what I thought about the fight. Marina Rodriguez could have finished the fight. If she put the put the four on the pedal. But that's a double edged sword. Because you may get taken down. Off the eagerness to get her out of there. But on Mackenzie's side. She didn't put her four on the pedal enough. To try and chase takedowns. She didn't. She didn't shoot enough takedowns. And she didn't pressure enough in the third and fourth rounds in the fifth round i mean why are you going for a takedown in the last minute in the fifth round you could have why we why didn't you do this in the beginning of the third beginning beginning of the fourth it's easy for me to say i know but i mean i guess probably because rodriguez slowed down in the fifth round and it was easier to catch her I, I, I need Mackenzie Dern to learn more striking and more and, and gain more striking uh, abilities and put those abilities in her toolbox 